and consorts. Presenting Viscount Kim Von Essinger, fighting for Duchess Ariel Winther Morgan. I am Rachel, the chosen warrior, Kit Von Essinger, took to the field with joy in his heart. An eagle triumphant, the sun in its splendor. He gathered his armor and took up his sword. His great shield now shoulder to ride into battle. Kit, a warrior of experience and wisdom, spoke, saying, Many times I have seen summer turn into winter, and peace turn to war in foreign lands. I always fought on the front lines, and many a fortress I stormed. Even the best men from the east would fear to fight me, so I welcome any desire to duel, cost what it may. Let us see who will boast of this crown, one under splendid sun, for all is seen where the light shines the brightest. House of Art de Pardieu, fighting for House Juliana de Pardieu. For his lady, he has won the crown before. For his lady, he competes to win once more. For the dragon, he has led us in the war. For his household, he is our knight and our lord. For his people, he serves with and without sword. For the kingdom, he guides with both deed and word. Sir Savaric has battled many a foe. Kind Savaric is loved where'er he may go. Good Savaric is friend to all he knows. Bard Savaric, singing voice he sometimes shows. Count Savaric fights the bees off ladies' clothes. Smooth Savaric <laughs> lovingly fights for his road. Count Nikolai Grigorovich Petrov, fighting for Countess Serena Kimlova, joined by the noble Leo. Slava! All hail Nikolai Grigorovich Petrov, Graf Drakeny, embattled coronet shining on his brow, will here do battle to crown his Grafinia as Tsarina once again. His keen eye, made bold by the twinkle in hers, will guide sword blade as surely as it guides saw blade. He will be known of to be knocked down, but a king, standing in the center of the field to the end. Nikolai will chase his opponents like gaming chips. The son of Gregor will leave them no safe place to rest. The glass Kroboska will remove them from play. Like a standing stone, he will block their road and place his beloved Serena upon the dragon throne. Slava! Count William of Fairhaven, fighting for Countess, he sold their own man. I sing the praises of William of Fairhaven through the eyes of his old de la Rene. Side by side, hand in hand, life they share, love they share. He praises the people. He raises up the people. He serves the people. He sees the people. He feels the hurts of the people. He laughs with the people and he sings with the people. Ring giver he is. This had been their reign. This will be their reign. Fighting for Mistress Rosamund Bobasai, Sir Osmundus Thorkelson. Sir Osmundus, here. Rider away from Miklar Garner. War ready, wound dispenser. Craftsman of the Thunder God's Den. Praise about the pounding of steel, fear of ravens and eagles. With it, Mistress Rosamund, authorized fire iron warrior. Sir Osmondus, drawing serpents due, sending forests of oaks to One Eyes Hall, seeking dwarf grindings. Set this day to earn the dragon throne. Sir, Rick Ward and Gold, fighting for Mistress Giovanna and Lauren. Sir Gregoire strides forth before you strong with stalwart grace. Stunning Lady Giovanna on his arm. Love evident in his solemn face for his lady and kingdom. Honor he has this day to bring to the field of their majesty's crown tournament the tale of arms, great dukes, amazing fates, and the frenzy of good combat shall ring through the hallowed halls of court to successful Gregoire. Such honor and loyalty, the love for his wife and kingdom, he moves the hearts and minds of all. A good day will be had, and with certainty many stories shall be told. Gregoire, knight in his love, Giovanna, mistress noble and kind, 
loyal and true, present themselves to you. Sergeant of Arms and Pitt's champion of the play, slayer of tigers of the east and rats of odd sides, for his virtues are known comes with dragon's heart fair. The honor of Dame Alspita he fights ever with honor and conviction, and for progeny, maiden Sylvia and Mel, he fights with care and grace evermore. Lord Dreamer, Scotland Crimson, fighting for Dame Marie the Fauconnier. Stern-felt soil churns under the children of battle. When the horn call howls over hallowed hall, there is none so fierce, nor eager to spill the wolf wine, as the mineral gathers its greatest treasures. From here, stone from some, strike the nerve men, feeds wolves in his wake with swinging steel. May the battle be fierce and festivities bright. Captain Vincer of San and Dormi, fighting for Mistress Kylie O'Dutton. Ideal. 
Shields Clash and Clang is heartbeats and song forged of tempered night and metal strong. With vibranium square voice, clear and rare, Sir Seto fights for the dragon's champ. Shine. 
reigns in battle. Loyal through and through. His given word, I am strong to his duty true. What far more than gold, Sir E. Shalit Cochino, knight both kind and gold. Sergeant Morales Kilias, fighting for the honorable lady Shoda Egan Gregor. Silent the cause of this grumpy cat. Present but rarely regarded. Service in silence behind the scenes, stepping out into the sunlight. Double the meaning to this quick wit catches the words between fresh lips. Florentine swords are as lethal and stealthy as his wit. Steadfast and loyal, his heart beats, loyal, compassionate, generous. Kindest of all, he is selfless, serving where service is needed. If it needs doing, he does it. If it is broken, he fixes it. See his claiming, fulfilling the need that is wanting, lending his hand to the largest of jobs, he inspires and leads us on. Serving the realm of the largest of hearts, teacher and paragon. Kindness of time and compassionate stalwart, though quite misleadership, step forth for our list to serve us, build the machine of true fellowship.
honor, skill, and courtesy will you advance that person's favor and honor. And the one to whom victory is given this day shall declare the name of that person for all to know and crown that person as royal consort to reign alongside after ascending the throne of the Middle Kingdom. And for these reasons, a world list. To each of you today have an inspiration whose favor you advance and whom you may crown as royal consort should be proved victorious upon the field. Aye! Then bear your favors bravely into the list, either in victory or in honorable of peace. Then let the tournament commence!